Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We have a very, very unique car. This is a Subaru Baja. This is an 04. We have a hood scoop, a truck bed, a five speed gearbox, and turbo boxer motor going on. This thing is all wheel drive. These are incredibly, incredibly limited. No matter how hard you surf the web, you cannot find any of these cars for sale. The turbo and manual combination is so stinking rare in these cars. I think this is the only one for sale in the country right now. I love these cars. I've always had a thing for them. They're like a, a legacy with, uh, with the truck bed, pretty much wrapped in half. They have a ton of cool and unique features. They've got one this truck bed with a pass-through in the back. The seats fold down. You can stuff a two by four in there. And uh, you can still have just as much fun as you would in your WRX. The little boxer motor in this car was actually just replaced 10,000 miles ago. We have 190, or sorry, 180 on the chassis, but only 10,000 on the motor. The suspension's brand new, wheel bearings are new. Uh, power steering rack. There's so many parts that the previous owner just threw at this thing to get it running in tip top. We even have it brand new. Snow tires on this puppy with hardly any miles. Those headlights, those look like new ones. I'm glad to see they're working great. Man, and that hood scoop. <laughs> That's sweet. Guys, some of the stuff you see on the front here, that is uh, an old clear bra. When this car started its life, Someone really wanted to take care of her, and I'm glad they did. And that, uh, that is just an old piece that spent some time in the sun. And a peel up off of there when you wanted to. But for now, it's still protecting you from rock chips. Look at this thing, man. Roof rack, truck bed. A lot of these cars were two-tone paint. This is that one color, dark blue. I really dig it. All right, guys, so inside of this Baja, you will find, you know, what looks very similar to a lot of other early 2000s Subarus. Um, the Bajas do get a specific seat, which is lovely, and they were uh, very comfortable and keep you in here well. We've got a nice shift boot on here and a lovely five-speed shifter. This car, too, is equipped with a six-disc CD changer and an AM-FM radio. Very good, very good. We have cruise control, your windshield wipers, um, like we talked about earlier, we showed you the brights, the blinkers, we got horns, we got airbags, power mirrors, power locks, and four power windows, and a fifth one right above us, the power sunroof. Take a look at this. It's in wonderful, wonderful condition. All the headliners in great shape. These little dome lights, all working very good. And here, we even got the lights on the inside. So we got that. I'm gonna jump out, run around, and show you guys the back. So we have a little center console here. Some goodies in there, a couple cup holders for your passengers. I've already pulled the latches over there. This seat flips right up. And here's why this right into our truck bed. We'll even include that plate frame for you with the car. But look at that. We can pack whatever we need in here. Hold, you know, snowboard, skis, two by fours, anything. And it really turns this thing into a very practical truck. Whether it be a surfboard or the skis, whatever it was, you can fit it in here and no other Subaru can. That closes up like so. This pops right back into place and just like that. And these are all in very nice condition too. And that headliner again and the rear glass with the defrost in there. 
All right, let's get them lights on. And we will try out the driver's side blinker. It's lighting up in here for us. And onto the passenger. This car has fog lights and our brights. All very good. Check the horn. Passenger blinker. Driver's side blinker. Do them brake lights. And the reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five speed with the turbo and the truck bed. Did not happen for very long. It was a short, short run. And it was incredibly limited. And so limited, so no matter who the hell I talk to, I call Subaru, I Google, uh, check every forum. Nobody knows how many manual turbo Bajas were built. And I know for a fact, uh, it's February, sorry, March 4th today. There is not one for sale in the country. I've searched far and wide. I haven't seen one in a long, long while. And the moment I did, I had to go and grab it. And that's this one. Um, these cars are obviously stupid hard to find, but they're so freaking cool. Um, it's a WRX with a truck bed. And um, who doesn't love Subi? We got this all wheel drive system that's unbeatable. Um, parts, everything's readily available. These things have an incredibly cool stance and like driving feel. Feel. Like uh, just the right cross between car and truck, I'd say. And then again, top mount intercooler, turbo out the back, and a boxer motor. I love the package. I love the styling. And they've launched this car in that yellow and uh, gray, kind of silver two-tone, which I don't know if that was maybe the best choice for Subaru. That was cool, but I like this one a lot more. Being one color, this dark blue. Another thing you just don't see often. Almost every Baja out there is a two-tone. And I think about 50% of them are yellow, which is great. But they're just not this cool. Coming to a stoplight, wheels stay straight. I got paperwork and everything for all the work that the dealer performed with this car. Um, that's you know, alignment, tires, wheel bearings, steering rack, inner and outer tie rods, um, all shocks. The list goes on. And it drives really, really well. You notice how straight the steering wheel is here. This, this stick is not all loose and sloppy. It has new shifter bushings in here. And we get into the fifth gear, no trouble at all. It was rolling very nice. I want to cruise that seat back and get comfortable. Turn on my radio. If I can find something. I'll worry about that later. <laughs> but I'm going to take a corner here, downshifting on. I don't know if the mic is going to be able to pick up this turbo whistle. A totally stock, not even a you know intake on this thing. Stock inlet, stock outlet of that turbo, no aftermarket tuner, nothing. Right out of the box. This thing is a, a quite thrilling. It's got a lot of pickup. The more you let that turbo whistle, the more you get thrown into the seat. The clutch in this car is very strong too. All right, guys, before we go, I just want to show you under the hood and why uh, this 2.5 turbo motor from Subaru is so famous. These little boxers make a lot of torque, and when that turbo comes on, the horsepower is there too. That hood scoop is feeding that factory top mount intercooler. We got a turbo down low, and like I said earlier, this thing had a new short block put in it just 10,000 miles ago, so it is ready to go. Man, these things are tons and tons of fun. This is a WRX truck from the factory. Guys, if you like this car, give us a call. We'll tell you more about it and how we can get you into it. The number is 248-714-2110. My name is Mackenzie here with LaFontaine Classic Cars. This is a very special Subaru. Once again, I'll put our number, email, uh, website, everything down at the bottom. We've got a lot of cool cars coming in often. Check us out, subscribe, like the videos, and go browse through some more. 
Thank you. We hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.